Good morning. Today, we're going to have another enrichment lesson. This is about solving for probability value for small samples. For this topic, you need to have your teeth table with you. Let's have example number 1. n equals 10, and our hypothesis is n equals 15, and our alternative is mu is not equal to 15. It means that it is a two-tailed t-test. Its test statistic computed is t equals negative 2.50. For this topic, we need to get your teeth table with you. If n equals 10, then the degree of freedom will be 9. That's 10 minus 1. We are looking for 2.50 and its nearest values are found in 2.26216 and 2.81244. If you check, these two values are between the level of significance 0 0.025 and 0 0.01. The answer is p value is between 0 0.02 to 0 0.05. Example number 2. n equals 15. The null hypothesis says mu is equal to 15. And the alternative, mu is less than 15. Since it has a less than sign, it means that it is a one-tailed, left-tailed t-test. The computed test statistic is negative 2.70. But in looking at your t-table, you could simply use the, the absolute value 2.70. If n is equal to 15, then our degree of freedom will be 14. That's n minus 1. We look at this line, and we're looking for the nearest values of 2.70. 2.70 is between this value and this value. And if we check its level of significance, it's found in 0 0.01 and point. Zero, zero, 005. The answer is p value is between zero point zero zero five to zero point zero one. Well, number three, n equals twenty. The null hypothesis says mu is equal to twenty five. And the alternative says mu is greater than 25. Since it is a greater than sign, then it means it is a one-tailed, right-tailed t-test. The test statistic is t is equal to 3. If our n is equal to 20, then our degree of freedom is 19. That's 20 minus 1. So we will look at this row. We are looking for the nearest value of t is equal to 3. If you check t is equal to 3 is nearest at this value and this value. It's between that. So, we'll be looking at its level of significance. That is at 0 0.005 and 0 0.0005. The answer is the p-value is between 0 0.001 to 0 0.005. Example number 4. n equals 25. The null hypothesis states that mu is equal to 20. The null hypothesis states that mu is not equal to 20. Since it has a not equal to sign, then this means that it is a two-tailed t-test. Our completed test statistic is 2.50. n is equal to 25, then our degree of freedom is at 24. That's n minus 1. We will be looking at this column. And we are looking for the closest value of 2.50. If we check, 2.50 is closest at this value. That's 2.49216. And if we check what's its degree, a level of significance, it is found nearest or approximately at 0 0.01. The answer is p-value is approximately 0 0.02.